So in this video, I will show you how to make smashed pumpkin. So um, this is a, a standard um, Asian pumpkin for which is less sweet, a little bit less sweeter than uh, butternut squash. I have several videos I posted cooking um, Asian pumpkin, so you might want to uh, check those video and. Uh, and usually you could steam it um, or roast it. So it's very similar uh, to roasting butternut squash, uh, which is a um, very common recipe to make butternut squash uh, soup. Um, you have to cut and clean that gut and then roast it. So it's a very similar way uh, to um, do this first part. So this is after I roasted the pumpkin, um, the large pumpkin, I cut it into several pieces uh, pieces, and then I roasted in the oven for almost an hour and a half. Uh, it was a large um, few portion of the pumpkin, so it took me a bit of time to get to that little bit of a barn, um, the color, which is you want to get that um, roasting, uh, flavor of the uh, roasting. And um, once it's cooled down, um, I'm going to scoop out the the pumpkin out of it. So when you're roasting it, um, which is the, lots of people uh, you are watching already know that um, you have to wrap in aluminum foil. So while it is cooking in the oven, um, it is not getting too dry, so it can totally get cooked. So um, and then later on you open it to get that uh, final stage of cooking. So what I done is that uh, about 45 minutes I cooked um, um, wrapped in an aluminum foil and then at um, 450 degree Fahrenheit and then I cooked about 15-20 minutes um, opening that aluminum foil just um, the pumpkin to get the final um, roasting um, done. So next step, next step I will scoop that, um, that, but I wanted to show you how this is nicely cooked. And you can take a spoon, a uh, tablespoon uh, would be better to scoop out uh, the, the meat of the this um, sh um this rind and any process that you can use uh, as long as you taking the the, the burnt um, rind or skin off um, that'll be good now we have this um the scooped out the pumpkin i put it in a bowl and I am going to use a smasher to smash it. So I used a smasher to smash it to pretty evenly smashed. So next step, I will add um, the spice. So usually I use um, garlic, onion, salt, and some oil. And you could chop those onion and garlic um, and put it into this. Um, but also you could um, roast the onion and um, the garlic, or you could saute it in a um, pan. Um, I usually like the flavor of sauteing in oil, the garlic and onion, and I will see use a little bit of a chili pepper, uh, red or green. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so um, sauteing or roasting actually brings more flavor. So I have a um, few cloves of garlic um, chopped, and I am using few green chili pepper these are hot green chili pepper and few uh, red chili pepper. By the way, both green chili and red chili pepper are grown in my garden. So it's nice to um, use uh, some of the homegrown um, 
um, stuff. So green chili pepper actually I grown um, and I freeze them. So I use them over the course of the winter. So you could use either green chili or red chili pepper or in combination both. Or you, if you don't like a spice, um, chili uh, pepper spice, you might uh, not use them. Just a garlic um, and onion would be okay. And here I have um, finely chopped um, red onion. And of course I will need salt um, to go with. So I mentioned that um, you could use just the raw garlic and onion, but also you could uh, saute it and caramelize it um, to, to bring the flavor. And um, so I'm using that, so I'm in a cast iron. I usually pan I use to um, saute or do. Um, so in this cases that if you're doing it, you have to use um, canola oil or any types of uh, vegetable oil. You cannot use olive oil because um, um, that's not good. And I will discuss in a different video about using different oil for different types of cooking. So anyway, once um, it is caramelized, so it's ready. Now, before I putting into this spice into the smashed um, pumpkin, I actually separating and smashing them because it would be difficult to smash these inside the smashed uh, pumpkin. So by separately doing it, I'm making sure this is um, chili pepper, onion, um, garlics are really, uh, um, actually garlic, I'm going to use the, um, the onion separately. You could also saute onion together with the garlic. So anyhow, I'm smashing them. Now all together, I mixed it with the the smashed pumpkin that I already had, and uh, in, I included the the chopped onion, and I added a little bit of salt, and I will um, check the salt uh, later on for the right test. So once everything mixed together, you could add now your uh, extra virgin olive oil. And um, I, what I use in this spoon, so about uh, one tablespoon you could use, as you've seen that I have about five, six pounds of pumpkin, so one tablespoon um, at least would need, uh, I think. And I actually use the mustard oil. So that is very unusual to Western world to use mustard oil. So mustard oil is a type of oil very similar to extra virgin olive oil, which is cold press. So you could use it uh, to in salad and anything you wanted to um, um, eat um, that uh, the oil would not be used um, to in cooking. So very similar to extra virgin olive oil, mustard oil cannot take the cooking heat. So um, so I will, dis as I mentioned that I will discuss another video um, about using various type of oil and type of cooking or not, um, um, which oil you can use cook in cooking and which not. So if you have not um, subscribed my video uh, channel, please subscribe so you would be able and easily find various category that I, um, a video that I categorize so easily can find the cooking um, um, category folder and you can find all the videos that I had already posted and I will be uh, posting um, in future. So in that way, you will get more information and you would not miss anything. So thank you for taking a few, a few seconds to clicking that subscribe button. And if you like this video, um, kindly um, click on the like button. Thank you for watching.